Welcome back. This is question number five for the eighth grade TCAP practice test. Uh, the question seems, it's one of those ones that looks like it's really hard. It's absolutely not hard. Number five says, look at the two figures below. So I've got this right triangle here, and it looks like a square most likely. Could be a rectangle, I suppose. The sides aren't marked as being equal, so there's, it's not determined that it's a square, but visually it looks like one. Anyway, it says, which could not describe the intersection of these two figures? All you have to do for this question is think logically about what the types of things that these uh, are the components of these uh, shapes and then what they could possibly be. They want to know if I put them together, what could I say about how they intersect? So the first one says a line segment. They want to know if it's possible for me to intersect at a line segment. Well, a line segment is just part of the line with endpoints. Well, here's one and here's one. So I could connect them together, sort of make it like this, I guess. So a line segment is totally okay to connect. Uh, the next one is a point. Well, here's a point and here's a point. So if I did this, totally possible and it's okay. The next one is a right angle. Well, they both have a right angle, so that's all you would really need it to be. I would just do um, this and there's my triangle inside my square. Uh, the last one is a ray. You could have skipped all of the ridiculous drawing that I did and just think, is, a ray in, is there a ray inside of a uh, triangle or a square? And the answer to that is no. A ray goes on forever, so it'll never form a shape. I mean, of the closed type. It won't form a polygon. So there's no way it could be a ray. So the answer to number five is just D.